The James Webb Space Telescope has captured these never-before-seen views of a dusty disk swirling around a nearby red dwarf star. This glowing disk represents the leftover debris from planet formation around a nearby star known as AU Microscopii, about 32 light-years away from us in the southern constellation of Microscopium. Planets form from the dust and gas that surrounds young stars. This material clumps together under the influence of gravity, forming small particles called planetismals. Over time, these planetismals collide and merge, growing into larger and larger bodies until they become protoplanets. As the protoplanets continue to grow, they begin to clear their orbits of remaining planetismals and gas. At a certain point, their growth slows and they become known as planets. The AU Microscopium system is about 23 million years old, suggesting the planet formation process has ended since that process usually takes less than 10 million years. The system has two known planets found by other telescopes, one about 10 times as massive as Earth and one twice that mass. Both are closer to their parent star than Mercury is to the Sun. The dusty debris disk that remains is the result of collisions between leftover planetismals, a more massive equivalent of the dust in our solar system that creates a phenomenon known as zodiacal light, a faint glow of diffuse sunlight scattered by interplanetary dust. Webb's highly sensitive instruments enabled astronomers to see the region close to the red dwarf star. By blocking out the intense light from the star itself, JWST captured this disk in more detail than ever before. The graphical star at the center represents the location of the star, and the dotted line is the area within which Webb blocks out the light. Red dwarf stars are characterized by their low masses, low luminosities, and low surface temperatures. They're among the most common types of stars in the known universe. Data suggests they make up about 75% of the total stellar population. Red dwarfs are typically smaller and cooler than the Sun and can be as small as about 0.08 solar masses. While they can be active and emit flares, their low mass and low luminosity make them relatively faint and most are not visible to the naked eye. These images were taken in infrared wavelengths of light which are invisible to our eyes. Such images will help us understand how planetary systems around small stars evolve. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.